Hi everyone, welcome to another GDevelop tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to push objects in your platformer game. Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about how to make an uh, object that you can push in your platformer game, like you know, you have like a box somewhere and imagine you can push it with your player to do some things. Uh, so first of all I have this thing in, uh, in my own game, uh, which I will show you in a second. Okay, here is the game. Uh, let me go to the place where I actually have that object that we can push. Okay, so can you see that cage on top, like that box there made of wood, right? So I can step on it. But another thing I can actually do with this is just to push it. Cool, now I pushed it and I can actually move it around, right? Like this, like that. I have created like a really simple scene here. Uh, just to make it different from other tutorials, I just created some really quick uh, art for this. So uh, all these assets are 16 by 16 pixels uh, and I already created some basic behavior on how you can make player walk on these platforms. Uh, so this tutorial is not about how to you know, move your player, this is more about how you can actually make uh, your player move that box. So if you're not sure how to uh, make your player move, uh, you can check for some uh, basic GDevelop platformer tutorials and I will make sure actually uh, that I'll create one as well. Uh, but what we he have here at the moment, if I run the game, is, you know, we have this uh, little dude, he can run, he can jump, okay? And I have this box in the air, because it has no behaviors, no actions, no nothing, it just, it's just a sprite which is there, okay? So nothing, nothing here uh, is working at the moment. So, uh, as I said, like what I have here is just, you know, to make the game uh, full screen in the beginning, I hi hide the hitbox, I center my camera on the hitbox, I change the position of the player sprite to be always in the position of the hitbox, then I obviously have actions like, you know, flip left and right depending on which, case, uh, which key I press, uh, and I have all the animation uh, behaviors for when trigger uh, idle animation, run, jump and fall. So this is all like basic stuff I have for, uh, for this specific example, just to make sure my player moves. Uh, but now uh, we need to uh, make sure that we can actually um, make uh, this box uh, movable, so our player can you know, push it in, uh, and you know, the box can fall from these platforms and you can push it left or right. Okay, so um, first thing, um, a really important one, uh, we need to set up uh, uh, center points and origin points of these two objects, right? Also of the player uh, sprite and of the, of the box, okay? So I, I'm going to show you what I have here. So my sprite, you know, is 16 by 16 pixels, okay? So, and if you take a look at this box, uh, it's 16 by 16 pixels as well, okay? And another thing that they have in common is actually this origin and center points. So they are placed at 8, 8, 8, 8 on all the axes, so that th this way we have this cross right in the middle of the sprite. So if I show you this one, uh, same thing is here, right? So I have this cross right in the middle, 8, 8, 8, 8, okay? So that's important that we will need those things to uh, solve some issues with our box when we push it. So before we create any more uh, new uh, behaviors, actions uh, and conditions here, um, we, we need to add some behaviors to this box, right? Right now we just the sprite doesn't have anything on it, so let's add something uh, to it. So first of all what I want to add is a um, platform behavior. So we'll make sure that we can actually step on top of our box, okay? So I hit apply. And another one I want to add to it is a uh, platformer character. I will need to use this to actually move the box and make it fall from the, from the platforms. If there is, you know, if there is empty space, it will just fall down, okay? So I choose platformer character and obviously I have all this, uh, set, uh, all these settings here. Okay, so just hit apply for now. Uh, so next thing I want to do is take a look at my hitbox uh, parameters because it has 
platformer movement and that's actually what makes our player walk around right with a certain speed we have here max speed with uh, you know deceleration so when i release the key it kind of doesn't stop immediately but stops uh, like with a slight delay uh, i have the gravity so this is how fast it should fall and you know, falling speed as well so i have all these values so one thing i want to do for the box is actually to copy some of these uh, to the box uh, because we will need to make sure it moves at the right speed uh, with the right falling speed and so on okay so i remembered some of these values okay so i hit apply and i go back to my box so what my player had here as max speed it had 120 and so i do the same here because when we push our box we want to both these objects go at the same speed um, so gravity i think it was 500 uh, we can uh, we can make the gravity a little bit more, you know, because the box, let's let imagine that the box is a bit more heavy than the player, so it will fall faster. Uh, max falling speed, we can leave like that. And another parameter I want to change is actually deceleration. Uh, I want to this uh, box to decelerate a bit longer than the player itself, so when you push it, it will uh, the player will stop, but the box will go ahead for a little bit more. So I'll put something like, I don't know, 180, okay? Uh, now I hit apply and see what happens so what will happen now is that the box will move with our player okay if I press right you know box falls because it moves with our player we move at the same speed but you see if you release the key the box moves a little bit more okay it jumps as well but that's not important okay so uh, now first thing we need to do is actually remove the fold controls from our box. We don't want to, to bo the box to move uh, all, every time we press uh, the key to move our player, right? So we just remove this, untick this, apply, and now, you know, just save it for a moment. What happens? Our box will stay on top and it will fall right to the platform beneath. So let me see if that works. Okay, it stopped. And I actually can step on my box, okay? Cool. That's fine. But, you know, we cannot move it. So, let's go to the next part. So, in order to move our box, uh, it's actually not a hard task. Uh, so, the logic here is, whenever uh, our player touches this box and we actually press a key to move left or right, we should move the box as well, so we should activate that, uh, you know, um, behavior of the box as a player to move uh, to one side or to another. So, uh, first thing we need to add here is uh, a condition, okay? So, my condition will be, the first condition will be is a collision. So, if collision between a hit box and our uh, box, Okay, if they touch each other and at the same time we actually press key so key pressed and let's say for now it's gonna be left cool. so if this two happens at the same time we activate the uh, we actually uh, activate the behavior of platformer on the box and simulate uh, pressing the left key for that uh, box object mm. Okay, simulate uh, left K press, okay, for our box object, okay, so let's see, let's see if that works, just go there, nothing happens if I uh, go to the right, but if I go to the left, you see, we actually pushed our box and it falls from there, that's nice, that works. Uh, so I think what we can do next is actually to copy this, the whole thing, right, and paste. And now we just need to invert uh, all the sides, right, so hit with, uh, so hitbox is in collision with the box, that's fine. And when we press the right key now, we just replace it to the right. And we simulate, obviously, uh, right key for the box as well object up oh, sorry uh, box and simulate right key press this one okay for the box cool 
So basically whenever we touch the object and we press left key, we will simulate pressing left key for the box as well. So same thing here, when we uh, collision with the box, we press right key, we simulate pressing right key for the box. So let's see if that works. Here's our box. Okay, we can push it to one side and we can push it to the other side. But you see now we have a problem. We have a really, really big problem. So if we stay on top of the box and we press left or right, the box will move as well. You see? It seems like we have some glue under our player's shoes and it actually moves the box with, with itself. So this is a problem we need to try to solve. And uh, how to solve this problem? Uh, now, you remember I told you about these, uh, you know, points, origin and center. So those, those points will help us to understand uh, where is our player in relation to the box. And so we'll be using those points to make sure that the box cannot move when we are standing on top of it. And I will show you how to do this. Uh, thing we need to add is actually to check the position, the Y position, so on the vertical axis uh, of, the, of the player. So position, compare uh, Y position of an object. So I take my player and compare its position in relation to... Um, to our box, okay, box Y, okay, but what I need to put here, I need to put here greater or equal to box position Y, so that means if we are, uh, you know, on the same level or below our box, it will move, if we are above that level, so more than uh, zero, so then, uh, you know, our player shouldn't move. Uh, our box shouldn't move. So I press OK. So that means like every time we're collision with the box, uh, every time we press that left key and our position is equal or below our uh, box, Y position, then it only then it will simulate this thing. So I'll just copy this and I put it here and that should have solved our problem. All right, let's see now. I'm on top and it doesn't move, okay? But if I push it, it moves. So let's push it, push it, cool. That's fine, it works. But now it doesn't. So this is correct behavior, you know, I still see some issues with the hitbox. Uh, I want my, I want the box to move a little bit, uh, you know, sooner, not when I, my sprite is in the middle. So I can fix that with the hitboxes, but you know, the logic is working, uh, it's working well, and uh, we have impression we can actually push our box. Uh, you can actually do things like, you know, if you add some uh, deceleration to the box, it will move for, uh, you know, further. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you add some more or less gravity, you can actually um, make sure that box feels more or less uh, heavy. So all of those parameters will help you to recreate the effect you want. Uh, so another thing to mention here is, uh, this is, you know, obviously this is not the, probably the best way to do this. Uh, I, I know that. Uh, this is just the implementation I have in my game. And, you know, for me, it, it works. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, there are things like, you know, if you put the box here, right here uh, to the corner, you can't uh, really move it unless you actually uh, you know, go all the way down as well, but it kind of looks like a bug, but to me it's like a feature, so that's exactly how I have it in my game, and I'm happy with this, you know, so it, it gives an impression of, uh, you know, pushing the box around. So, uh, I hope this was helpful, I, um, you know, you can experiment with this a lot, and if you have a better solution to, to do this uh, moving box, just let me know in the comments below, I would be really, really curious about that. And if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, uh, make sure to check my other videos and uh, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord and, uh, you know, thanks for watching and see you next time with a new video.